potential for a strategic green energy partnership. That partnership requires private and public investment to build together on the assets we have. We can accelerate the energy transition radically, reducing greenhouse gas emissions while at the same time protecting our economic growth. President Dr. William Ruto is among the main speakers at the Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue in Germany, insisting the key place of the African continent in the generation of clean energy. We need to work together to raise standards and avoid low integrity carbon while realizing high prices for African countries and communities that are doing the difficult work of protecting nature and managing carbon. The head of state highlighted partnering with Africa as key to ensure the continent does not offer the solution to the energy equation at environmental cost in the background of a climate change crisis. Kenya is also a front runner in the usage of green energy, producing more than 80% of its energy through renewable resources, making Germany with its share of 45% look old. I believe it is these areas where Germany can learn a lot from your country. The continent's renewable energy potential is 50 times greater than the anticipated global electricity demand for the year 2040. On March the 20th, 2023, the United Nations top experts on climate science released a synthesis report on climate change, declaring a dangerous lag in trying to control the crisis as greenhouse gas emissions continue to grow instead of declining. Kenya is a good investment partner to help decarbonize the German economy and green the EU manufacturing capacities. A prime focus has been made towards Africa, which stands out as the most potent recourse source for renewable clean energy, despite its raft of issues among member states, including political instability. You're planning your own fertilizer protection to reduce dependence on import. Germany can support you in all these areas with know-how. However, education is also a dominant issue. Every government must offer its young population a good perspective, especially when it's growing as fast as it is in Africa in total. In addition to basic education, this applies above all to vocational training. We are already cooperating in vocational training and youth employment. While addressing matters relating to climate protection, the development of climate-compatible energy systems and adapting to the consequences of climate change, President Ruto noted that Africa needs the right capital to be the world's green industrial powerhouse. I hope you all will join me in the next few days in rising to this challenge of genuine partnership. He further extended an invitation to his host to the first ever Climate Action Summit in Kenya, kickstarting on the 4th to the 6th of September 2023. We can leverage the huge potential that exists in our diaspora in not just growing our economy, but also profiling our country positively. I want to commend all of you, Kenyans in the diaspora, for being the true ambassadors of our country. The head of state also had the opportunity to meet Kenyans living and working in Germany, promising an enhanced relation with his administration while commending them on flying the Kenyan flag high abroad.